What's going on guys, Ninja Kakashi 20 here again and we are here with another episode in our road to Team of the Year Iniesta. So we're going to start off immediately with an All Brighton we pick up for 4,500. Going to try and sell it on for 7.1k, so that's about 2k profit there. Uh, we pick up that Belgian centre mid from Club Brugge uh, for 5,000 coins. Going to try and sell them on for 6,400, making out about 1.2k. And here, nice deal, very nice deal on Bannon. Pick him up for 20,500 coins. And we are going to sell him on for 25,000 coins, 250. And uh, we will be back with, as you can see in the bottom left, um, the Belgian has sold. I'm going to show you him uh, exactly selling in a couple of uh, minutes, but here we pick up a Phillips for 2k. Going to try to sell him on for 3.8k. They're making that about 1.5k profit. Very nice here. We here we pick up two Delfonzos uh, in the right formations for about 3k each. Going to try and sell him on for about 4. Point something k for both of them, making that 1k profit on each of them, which is nice as always. And uh, quickly, guys, uh, showing you here that he did indeed sell for the right price. A lot of um, people have been saying trading has become a little bit harder these days, and I do have to admit, I have been um, not struggling, but uh, having to do uh, different ways, make employ different methods of um, trading. Uh, because it seems like a lot of people are trying their hands at trading now and trading isn't as easy as it was say a couple of months ago but again um, it's about trying different methods and I'm going to be looking at some different methods uh, to help you guys out if you are definitely having trouble as a lot of YouTubers I've actually been watching have been finding trouble trading so um, look, stay tuned for that as well but here look at that deal quickly with genus uh, about 5k profit on that excluding EA tax there so how about that for struggling <laughs> uh, but no seriously guys um, look out for some trading methods that are definitely um, put out for you guys because I know um, some of you did want to see some uh, actual methods that I use so I will post something some things that you can uh, use that are tangible but back into the trading Shelby center defensive mid position he's been changed down to a center defensive mid pick and um, trying to get about a 4k profit on him here as you can see Phillips has indeed sold uh, for 4k so we did make a, a profit a nice little bit of profit on him right mid care bay in a 4411 formation picked him up for 8,000 is that 8,000 no 6,100 the screen was a bit blurry and we're gonna sell him on for a bit less than a K profit. As you can see that band sold so uh, 250 coins less we had to sell it for but still oh nice little 5k cheeky profit there excluding EA tax and the uh, Gina sold here so very very nice indeed um, going through all the other players that have indeed sold and EA tax is really crippling guys like because if you just think of all the tax that happens everyone would be filthy rich but EA tax is so crippling but anyway we are gonna go back and pick up uh, a couple of IU's actually and uh, more than a couple <laughs> as you will see in the rest of the episode but we're originally gonna try and sell him on for 5,800 we pick up a Lacazette um, in a 352 formation very popular formation up and coming popular formation and selling it for 25k there so and this was the best deal of the episode guys check this one out Just look at the bottom and see we bought it for 15,000 coins um, and silver inform latelec selling them on for that 9k profit excluding EA tax yeah you heard right 9k on one silver card that is fantastic and um, we pick up another uh, IU in a centre forward position this time going to try and sell them off 5,400 coins a little bit of that 2k profit and we next we pick up this left back Argentinian from Olymp Olympic Lyon and we're going to sell them for that 2k profit again and uh, finally uh, we just go over to this card La Cazette and we see that he has indeed sold now we have Zaha picking him up for 8,200 coins. We're going to try and sell them off for 9,500 coins here. And Phillips, we pick them up for 1,800 coins. 
and we're going to try and sell them on for 5,500 a bit ambitious here but he probably won't end up hey, I'm going to spoil it here he doesn't actually sell for that much you have to relist him again but here we are that guy actually does indeed sell 24k very nice so that 9k profit and he sold fairly quickly as well going through the rest of the players here they all did sell I had to relist a couple of the I use for less but they sold for full profit um, and uh, we have one more card just one more IU to sell at the end and then we will have our profit for this episode so wrapping it up we have to wait for IU to sell and he's got 14 minutes left in this but I probably will have to relist him again and yes he does sell and again we really had to relist him for 500 coins less but we're up to 141,000 coins guys almost 150k we would have been way over that if EA tax hadn't been there but unfortunately it is and so we made about 41k profit on this so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode like if you do subscribe for new uh, content from me and to keep up to date with all the stuff I'm doing uh, thank you for your feedback um, on the episode and again thanks for watching